To begin, a drop of sample solution is placed on the same kind of grid used in many cryo-EM applications. This solution is filled with numerous tiny nanocrystals, which are about one billionth of the size of those needed for X-ray crystallography. The droplet is then flash frozen using liquid ethane at negative 180 degrees Celsius. After freezing, the grid is transferred into a cryotem. The transfer process is also conducted under cryogenic condition to ensure sample integrity. These experiments are conducted in diffraction mode. Each nanocrystal can be observed individually. The data is collected as video on a fast camera, while the frozen crystal is continuously rotated. The end result is a video composed of many discrete frames, and each frame contains hundreds of diffraction peaks. It is these peaks that will reveal information about the underlying structure of the sample. Data processing software easily identifies separate diffraction peaks. You can clearly see that each peak in this 3D representation has a different intensity. These peak intensities contain information about the structure of the sample. This process is repeated for all frames in the videos, and the data is combined by scaling and merging. As the crystals are oriented randomly on the grid, a complete 3D reciprocal representation can be obtained. The 3D reciprocal information is then resolved into the protein structure using X-ray refinement programs. In this case, the structure of proteinase K has been resolved with a resolution of two angstroms.